So I just got this Calphone turntable from the from 1952. It's dated in there. I, I have pictures. I forget the exact date. Um, I think I think it's uh, uh, February or March in 1952. And uh, I had I had seen a demonstration of uh, of, of this specific model Calphone on on YouTube. So I thought I'd make one because it's really cool. Uh, I, it needs a lot of work, and I've sort of, I've just, I've just kind of patched it together to make it so it functions barely right now. But it's gonna need, it's gonna need for me to do a lot of things to it. Uh, but right now, it works really good. It has a microphone input, and I guess it was so you could, you could sing along to your favorite record in 1952. Uh, but you can plug with a, with a lot of these sorts of things. You can plug. A guitar into it, and, it, and it's a great old, um, old tube amp. And it came with this speaker here in this handsome cabinet, and it's a it's a Jensen old Jensen PA speaker, an Alnico Five <coughs> PA speaker, which I guess is is a pretty desirable old speaker. And uh, here the pods are really dirty. We can turn up about halfway. And it makes you can find the place where it sort of works. <laughs> What's really cool is it you get it, you turn it up and it, it starts to the original needles on the stylus so I've gone ahead and ordered some new needles for it and it has this funny flipping stylus so even if I turn this the phonograph all the way up the phonograph stage all the way up um, it still is it just sort of whispers out of the out of the amp I don't know if you can even hear that. And I don't know if it's the needle or, because uh, both the needles sound basically like that. And, uh, and it has this weird, really delicate flip around thing. And, and who knows, the, I don't know how these things work very, <laughs> really. I don't know if there's a magnet in there that could have gotten uh, uncharged or something. Who knows? It's, it's for further investigation, I have, I have needles out. Because it'd be great to be able to have this as a record player, like in your living room, and be uh, a guitar amp, like a little makeshift guitar amp in the living room. So, uh, some work to do on it, but I just wanted to give this little demo of it because I think it's really great. Now, I'll, I'll take some close-ups uh, so you can see a bit more. <laughs> 